or to, well, the universe is not static. And so there's a term there. And if you've had calculus, you might remember there's a constant of integration. Often it's just zero and you can ignore it. But when we were in graduate school, I'm a little older than you. When we were in graduate school, we always recognized, we paid homage to that constant, but said, let's assume it's zero. If this term existed, it would mean there was a force operating in the universe opposite that of gravity. Depending on the sign of the cosmological constant, but yes, because it could have either sign. Okay, yeah. it would either work with gravity or against exactly. it. Exactly, okay. exactly. But if we had a static universe, yeah. it would be something just holding up the universe against exactly. the collapse of gravity. Which is why Einstein and, and, thought of And it. we didn't have any reason to think it, so it could be zero, and we just, but we always had to go through that portal. We right. say, here it is, we set it to zero yes. and move on. That's actually a good thing. Well, it's an opportunity. Yeah. Opportunity, yeah. that's the way. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. a huge opportunity. Yeah, the press always says, oh, scientists are angry or this. No, we're delighted. Yeah. Right. If something breaks, oh my gosh, it's yeah. a new thing. Yeah, that's exactly. right, that's right.